Hi and welcome to Yakuza Ishin or Yakuza Restoration or Ryuga Gotoku Ishin as I think it's called in Japan. Um, okay, this is right at the start of the game. We're on PlayStation 4 and you probably recognize the little guy in the pajamas as Kazuma Kiryu. Although, aha, there's a little twist here because he's not Kazuma Kiryu. He's a um, historical, real-life revolutionary, Ryoma Sakamoto. Um, this uh, Yakuza game is set in Edo period Japan. It's a kind of side story, spin-off game, rather like um, Yakuza of the End, the zombie-based game that everybody hated, um, which was the last Yakuza game, I think, to be released in the West. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go outside now. And we are actually in Kabukicho, the, um, the district that the previous games were, were set in, but kind of a hundred years prior to the, um, the stories in, the, in the, the other Yakuza games. So let's have a look up here. See any familiar faces. Wait a minute, what was that? That lady by the Dharma selling. Okay, she's selling, um, she's selling alcohol and grub, which sounds good. I'll have cake and fine wine, the finest wines available to humanity, or at least that 700 yen bottle of sake, and uh, some sushi to wash down the booze. Uh, that one? No, let's go for the, let's go for the top of the range, because I'm a classy guy. Okay. I'm a little bit inebriated now. Thank you very much. Doitashimashite. And let's be on our way. Let's have a look up here. Oh, there's a fox shrine. Up here. Nope, can't interact with that. Okay. Let's see if this fellow will let me out of the town. Probably not, because we're right at the start of the game. Nope, I'm not going anywhere yet. Well, I did spot a karaoke club over here. As soon as we have a belly full of alcohol, let's check this place out. Okay, there's a, a very familiar face from um, Yakuza games of the past, or Yakuza games of the future, of course. Okay, yes, I will get on stage and make a tip of myself. I think there's going to be some, some hot rhythm action going on here. It's, the game's all go are going to go all Project Diva on us from the look of it. Yep. Okay, choose my song. Right. And I presume these three little uh, guys in the top right hand corner <laughs> are, uh, are the Simon Cowles who are going to judge our performance. This is. Um, it's less Project Diva and more um, Taiko no Tatsujin, actually. A, a truly atrocious anchor song I'm playing here. One of the one of the things that uh, that is very kind of entertaining about about the Yakuza games is that they they have quite grim, realistic storylines, but. They're, they're filled with these wacky, characteristically Japanese um, mini-games. And, and really, you know, we will probably never get a Shenmue 3, but the, the Yakuza games are kind of keeping the Shenmue dream alive, in Japan at least. Um, not a lot of skill involved in this music game, you just kind of bash the buttons. You don't have to get the timing particularly right, it seems. I guess we'll find out when I get my score at the end. The little guys in the corner, they're either very, very easily pleased or they're, or they're angry. I, I really can't tell which. It's hard to read their faces. This reminds me of the, um, the final scene of uh, Zatoichi, the Beat Takeshi film. Okay, I think we're going for the big finish now. He's really getting into it. 
what a, what a dreadful song. This is Eurovision worthy. This song. A reference that you have to be from Europe to understand. And there we go. The crowd goes wild. Okay. See my score. Oh well, that didn't sound good. What did I do wrong? That was not a good sound. And he's saying, "You're shit." Get off the stage and never come back to my club again. All right, matey. Okay, let's split this joint. Okay, back, back into the town. Get out of my way, I'm really pissed. I failed the karaoke test. Yeah, fuck you, dog. I don't like Shiba Inus. Okay, what's she selling? I don't know what it is, but I know I like it. Buy some of that. It might come in handy later, maybe. So if you've never played the Yakuza games, they're kind of open world RPGs. If you have played Shinmui, they're very similar uh, in style. Now this place, according to the map, is a, a, a dojo that I have to go to to start a mission, but I'm, I'm not going to go there just yet. I saw some kind of wild ruckus happening up here people manically flailing their arms in the air what's happening here it's not another rhythm game is it well stick around for part two of this video and we'll find out what these fellas are up to there's an incentive to stay